Hello, everybody, and welcome to... This is Andrew Giovinazzi, Chief Operating Officer of Option Pit. Welcome to the Morning Volatility Report, the only options website where our clients make intro soundtracks for us. How about that? All right, everybody, uh, welcome. Uh, yesterday, blog, boot camp is coming in December. We will be uh, sending a note out to all of you, to every Option Pit client that is uh, chat or above. Uh, well, you get this for free. Uh, which appears to be pretty popular, so we will start. Uh, the links will go up for that when Mark returns from his cruise. Uh, the biggest thing about watching the vol come in is things are starting to get pretty low. You know, I just want you to notice here yesterday, and you know, we're having a little bit of lifted vol today. You're starting to see under the nine handle for the Thanksgiving options. Okay, about as cheap as sigma gets or vol per strike. I think we've seen it like eight and a half this year. So from a you know from an implied volatility point of view, there, there's not a lot of downside risk there. Okay. In our chat today, we're going to look at structuring some stuff around that idea. Right? Because once vol gets to a point where it just can't get a whole lot lower, there's not a lot of much, a lot, there is not a lot of risk in owning it. Uh, so what do we have? We had a little sell-off. Positive news with uh, China, things like that. Uh, Baba's been a big news guy, a news uh, hound lately. Uh, you know, I it kind of was like a buy the rumor, sell the news type of thing. They had the results out. Vol is starting to come in here after that. Still um, pretty high relative levels. Uh, I know this sounds a little, I don't, it's not, you know, an exact pair, but you think of something like Apple, which is a large technology stock. And you have Baba, you know, I've got a $117 stock with a 43 vol, and I've got a $108 stock with it, like a sub-19 vol. Okay, we'll, we're going to look at our in our uh, chat today, a possible pair, something like that, uh, with volatility if we can. Reason being is you've got VIX now below 13. You know, the lows of the year are what, 1020, which was only, or 1050, I think, which is only, it only spent a little bit of time there. So vol's very low. We're kind of already settling in for the holidays from a volatility point of view. Um, you know, I don't think it's early, but, you know, just three weeks ago, we had kind of panic market levels. So, again, the farther out on the curve, I would not be, uh, we're not sellers of volatility. We're actually looking for some stuff to buy. However, short term, there's probably not a lot happening, as you know. You know, are you going to get any sort of short-term movement? You know, we have 10-day vol now down to 8%. Remember, again, four weeks ago, okay, we had 10-day volatility was, what, 25 or 24%, 25% in the index. So the market has compressed rapidly. Earnings are out. They're okay. Bank of Japan didn't hurt. All of a sudden, there's kind of some stimulus floating around outside the U.S. because the U.S. is out of that game. So... At least for right now, maybe not so much volatility over the next couple of weeks, but it's not going to surprise me if we have some uh, ball shock. So, you know, uh, just kind of control any short gamma, make it really short term, not long term. There's just not a lot of money out in that stuff. Things like time spreads, double calendars, that kind of idea. You know, if we do get a little bit of a move, you should still be set up okay. And that's, that's kind of the idea we're looking at. Uh, for today, and there's still some volatility in the gold complex um, and in the metals. Have they bottomed? I don't know. Uh, but vol now is finally starting to come in just a little bit, right? It's had all that scariness, big rally, kind of coming back. It's just coming down a little bit, you know. All of a sudden, those longer-term sales and volatility don't look so bad in here. Okay? Again, 
flip-flopping these sort of the opposite things that's going on in the index. Notice the gold ball. Notice the SPX ball. Okay. You got opposite sides of the coin, right? Buy what's cheap maybe, sell what's expensive, and try to have relatively controlled market exposure. Right? And that's what I'd like to set up here going for the next week or two, an option pit, given these conditions stay about the same. All right. Uh, all of you, have a good day. I'll be seeing a lot of you in the chat. Um, also, if you missed our webinar, if you missed our event of last week, okay, uh, let us know, okay? And we'll be happy to send you, uh, just give us some money. Uh, so I think there's 79 bucks for our uh, directional trading webinar. It seems like it has gone pretty well. Uh, we've got a lot of follow-up requests for it. So let us know. We'll be happy to send you that. It will not surprise me if we rallied again today. Maybe some of the leaders, though, might take a little break finally. All right, everybody. You all have a good day. And we will be talking to you later.